everybody. Here we are with another video for this year. Uh, I say another video. <laughs> I guess we have a happy uh, for the 2016 season. Uh, we'll just kind of, I'm not going to bore you with a lot of details about what's been going on. If you've been keeping up with my posts on Facebook and Citrus Safe page, you kind of know what's, know what's been going on. Um, we've, been, we've been having a pretty good year. Uh, earlier this year, we won two races on the NASCAR Well and Southern Modified Tour. Two of them at Caraway, surprise, surprise. Um, we've been hanging around the top three just about everywhere we've been. Um, on the NASCAR Tour and at Bowman Gray, and even on the Pass Modified Tour, which is, a, uh, I don't think we've talked about that too much, but uh, the, the Pass Modified Tour that Renee Hackett and um, the guy from Pass Super Late Model Series, uh, they put together this year. We've been right there. We just haven't uh, had the opportunity to, to be in Victory Lane. Uh, we did break into Victory Lane this past weekend at Bowman Gray. This car you see here is my, uh, my new LFR um, car that we built just for Bowman Gray this year. Kind of a side note, like I said, we did win the race at Bowman Gray this past weekend. It was twin 50s. It was Father's Day, so that was really cool. Uh, my daughter was in town from Ohio. Slate was with us. Daddy was there in Victory Lane with me. Um, unfortunately, my stepdaughter wasn't there. Uh, that would have been the, the cherry on top for my entire family to be there. But um, the, the cool thing is, is since I won my first race in 1998 at Bowman Gray in the Modified Division, it's been in one car. You can't see it, but it's my old stadium car that I've always talked about. I won 65 races and six championships in that car since 1998. So the victory I got this past weekend in the LFR car is the first victory I've ever had at Bowman Gray in the Modified Division that hasn't been in that car. So, um, yeah, that kind of makes me feel a little bit better because it's funny thing is I even had a couple people this past weekend uh, before we got practice and got everything going, said, man, why don't you go back to your old car? Because we're almost halfway through the season and haven't been able to win a race yet over there. So, um, you know, I had some people say, man, pretty much saying, hey, what's wrong with you? You know the other car can win. So um, it was pretty cool to be able to, to break into Victory Lane this weekend with this car. The car was awesome. We, we, we've been working on it hard. The guys, all the guys have been working really hard with me in practice to try to fine-tune uh, you know, we, we constantly stay on top of things. I, I got some crew shirts made for the guys uh, uh, several weeks back, and it says, uh, always fast, never satisfied. And sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes that's a bad thing, but we constantly try to work and try to adjust our cars to make them better. So, um, like I said, it's really cool to be able to get into Victory Lane at Bowman Gray this weekend. We're, we're fortunate enough to be the point leader. Uh, I think uh, me and uh, Jamie Watson were talking about how the thing that I think that we're most proud of from this past weekend is the pole. We were able to sit on the pole. There's two things about being able to go out first. Going out first is catch 22. Going out first means you're the point leader. But when you're the point leader, you go out first. So any kind of loose uh, dust or dirt or anything that uh, on the track, um, you know, I pick it up first if I go out first. So um, Grammy just walked in. <laughs> um, anyway, so to, to be able to go out uh, first and to be able to sit on the pole uh, was pretty cool. It was pretty special. It, it's just kind of you know, it reiterates how hard we've been working and, and um, moving forward, I guess. So I won't, uh, won't keep you going long, but this coming weekend, we got twin 25s at Bowling Gray Stadium. The next weekend, uh, Bowling Gray takes off for 4th of July weekend. We'll be, um, I don't know what the date is, the second at Friday night, is that right? Friday night, July 2nd, we're at Caraway Speedway for the NASCAR Well and Southern Modified Tour. Saturday night, we will be at uh, Wake County Speedway down in, towards Raleigh. That, I'm excited about that because I've never been there. They say it's a bank a quarter mile, so I'm looking forward to that. It'll be cool. That's for the past series. Uh, just to let everybody know, let the Myers Racing fans know, the one and the four will not be at Hickory Motor Speedway uh, for the Smart Race, uh, supposedly that same weekend. Uh, just to give you a little bit about it, I haven't been paid yet from Franklin County. Um, I have had very, very little contact with anybody uh, related to the Smart Series. Nobody to call me to tell me what's going on. So until I get an explanation or until I get some kind of word about what's going on, uh, we won't be attending any more of the Smart Races. So um, fans, if you were going to, to see the Myers cars, I'm really sorry, but come down to pass, the past race uh, Saturday night and see us at Wake County or even come Friday night and you can get two races in one weekend. Um, I, will, I gotta thank my sponsors. Uh, I know we talk about this all the time. Um, it's, it, these sponsors are not just sponsors, they're friends. They're, they're people that we have a relationship with that 
you know, they call or they text. Uh, they're not just interested in, hey, how much exposure did you get me this weekend? They want to know what happened, and they're happy for us when we win. Not just because they got their name out, but happy because the team was successful. So, as you can see, Citrus Safe Cleaners, Tommy, Tommy was there this past weekend. Um, um, it, it was just it was a cool night for us to, for Tommy to be there. He gets to come in and out sometimes. He's a really busy man. So it's cool that Tommy was there for our first victory at the stadium this year. Speedway Auto Auction, uh, Billy Knuckles and Alan Willard and those guys down there have been with us for a couple of years now. Um, they helped us out even. Uh, we, we, I didn't get to tell you about all this. It's not fun news, but we destroyed a car at Concord uh, earlier this year. And uh, those guys along with some other people helped me out to get the car back together. Uh, Doug Adams with Adams Towing was there this weekend. He was hanging on the wall hollering at before the race started. So uh, Adams Towing, um, Haviland Express Lube, Mac and the guys down at Haviland Express Lube in Kernersville. John at Cleanup Supply. Uh, make sure I'm not forgetting anybody. Uh, RE Radios, Brown and Miller, Hank Thomas Sunoco Fuels, um, Pro System Brakes. Man, there's just there's so many people. No matter how much you contribute, it, it takes away from some of my stress and some of my burdens whenever we get help from anybody. So uh, there's a silent partner that helped me out, uh, that helped me put my car back together after Concord. You know who you are, so thanks, man. Um, LFR knocked that car out for me. Thank you, LFR Chassis. I know LFR, they called me first thing Monday morning to congratulate me because, like I said, this is... They know how big it is to me and to my family that I want to race in something besides my old stadium car. So that was pretty cool. Jason finished second in the second race. I was fourth. So pretty good weekend for us. Like I said, a Father's Day weekend um, made it pretty special. So unless you can think of anything I'm forgetting, uh, my family, my crew, we went to Anderson Friday night and then turned around and came back to the stadium Saturday night. In a couple weeks, when we're ready to go to Caraway and when we go to, to Wake County, we'll do a flip-flop in the middle of the night. So uh, my guys that, that helped me on my team, uh, it's just, it's just, yeah, I could not do it without you. So thank you. I want to thank Mark Joyce at MJ Graphics uh, for my t-shirts and my hats, supplying that stuff for me. So come out and see us this weekend, Twin 25s, and uh, hopefully we can get a video. We'll see. <laughs> we'll get a video next week. Uh, we're, hopefully we can start having these more random. Like you, like, like you guys know, we race so often. It's hard to take time to do this. Not saying that, that it's right not to, because I know that I should. And I, I use this as an opportunity to thank people and keep people posted that can come to Bowman Grave and keep my sponsor's name out there because I couldn't do it without you. So we're going to try to do better. It's my fault. Um, somewhat my fault. That's <laughs> funny. I can say this because I'm on this side of the camera. <laughs> I was just waiting for a win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he told me it was my fault because he's been waiting for a win. So... Uh, Thanks to everybody. Please, please uh, share this, share these videos. Help us help our sponsors and, and, and get the word out and uh, support these products and these businesses. Thank you for everything you do for us and come see us. God bless you.